Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Leila Serra from Sierra Studio, where we are all about arts and crafts, and we are here to give you the tools and resources to learn, get inspired, and fire up your creativity. I hope you were doing well. The subject of today's draw and paint in watercolor tutorial is this wisteria bunch of flowers. I will draw and paint it while describing the techniques I used that you can use too in any of your watercolor projects. Feel free to pick a subject of your choice to practice with these techniques, because practice makes progress guys. Get your tools ready and let's get started. There are wisteria climbing vines growing in my neighborhood and because of their color, I used to think they were lilac. They grow absolutely wild and are quite invasive, but boy, they smell so nice at springtime. I thought they would make a good watercolor subject. So I checked some facts about them online and realized that it was a completely different plant. They're native to China, Korea, Japan and the eastern USA. Anyway, so I'm sketching this bunch of flowers. When you draw from nature, Observe where the light is coming from and how it sets on your subject. See where the light and dark areas are. You can choose to reproduce them in your drawing as a guide, so you already know where to layer up your paint to render that light. Trust me, with time and practice, you will build enough confidence to go without. And now, on to painting our composition. I'm using only two colors and two brushes, a medium round for most of the painting and a small fine tip for smaller areas and details. I could have mixed some red and blue to make my own purple, but I had this cute blue violet from Sennelier that I haven't used much. The other color is the Sennelier Yellow Deep. I have some other yellows in my palette and that's okay. It's often a good idea to dirty up your colors a bit. It contributes to your painting style. You want to lay out your light and dark spots from the get-go. Apply your first layer of paint with a wet brush and a tiny bit of pigment. Remember, in watercolor you start light, then layer up to build those rich and intense colors. I have another video on that that I'll link in the description box down below for you. You can apply your paint with a wet brush on your dry paper. This is known as the wet on dry technique. Or you can wet your paper first with a clean and wet brush, load it with paint that you apply on the wet area and run the tip of your brush on the layer of paint to blend it with the layer of water underneath. This is known as the wet on wet technique. That's what I'm doing here.
I am using the wet on dry technique to paint the yellow center of the flowers. Then I go back with the wet clean brush to blend the yellow and the purple together. For the stem, I'm using some olive green and forest green from Senulier as well, that I had left in my palette from another painting. Same process here. I layer up and play with transparencies to render the stem. You can, if you want, highlight the dark areas with a white gel pen to make your painting pop. I think I prefer mine without the white highlights. Anyway, trying out different things is part of the creative process. Well done guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Leila Serra from Sierra Studio, I post weekly videos on art and craft and I will see you in the next one. Until then, go create something awesome. Bye guys!